Thanks, Wes Small, for that sad story. Well, on St. Thomas, Carnival Village has officially opened last night with all the fanfare. Let's take a look. This year's village is named in honor of Jerry Nicholson, called Gypsy's Caravan. He was with the Gypsies, and the Gypsies were out in full swing to celebrate the opening of Jerry's Village. Of course, the traditional snipping of the ribbon with the governor, the Carnival Queen, a Lieutenant Governor, just and Jerry, of course. <laughs> Then it was time for the princess to open the other side of the village near the children's rides. And the governor was there, Jerry Nicholson, and the staff, uh, and Blake uh, from the Carnival Committee, as they snipped the ribbon to open that side. Eddie Delegard from the delegate's office for a special presentation of Jerry Nicholson. 2010 Carnival Village on the Reef. In recognition of your outstanding and invaluable service to the Virgin Islands Carnival and the Virgin Islands community. Dated April 26, 2010, from Donna Christensen, Member of Congress. Congratulations, Jerry. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to call our Carnival Princess of 2010, Mr. Kel Michaels, to give her the degree. Good evening. I am the Carl Tiara Michaels, your Carnival Princess 2010. It is my pleasure to be here in honor of Mr. Nicholson. Thank you, and you have a blessed and safe Carnival. Remember, Carnival is a different back and now, and it's back and now again for 2010. Father, the old Carnival Queen for 2010, Miss Sean T. Good evening, protocol having been established. I am Shantae Alon Henry, the 2010 Virgin Islands Carnival Queen. Welcome to this year's Carnival Village, named Jerry Gypsy Caravan, in honor of Mr. Gerard Nicholson himself. Every year, our people work tirelessly at designing and building the boots according to our carnival theme and preparing our favorite local dishes and drinks. Please show your support by patronizing our booth owners as we honor Mr. Gerard Nicholson, a carnival stylist. Remember, to drink responsibly and let's continue to work hard at maintaining a violence free carnival as we celebrate back and now again for Carnival 2010. Thank you. So let's give a round of it was time for Governor John Dion. represents the best of the Virgin Islands, the best of the St. Thomas, and that's Mr. Johnny Nicholson. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge, and we all know this, next to every person that succeeds is always somebody else on here by their side that helps them go across. And we also have to acknowledge Ms. Mrs. Nicholson here this evening. I think it's also fitting that tonight we also have with us the first king and queen of Carnival here with us in common and real civilly. So down here in front. I think that one of the things that sets us apart from any other community is that we understand the importance of family, and we understand the importance of fun, and we understand the importance of just being together and making sure that we enjoy it in a way that represents our culture, both our present and what we want to set for the future. So as we go about the rest of this week, from the tramping that will take place, to the food fair on Wednesday, to Juve on Thursday, to the children's parade on Friday that I know everyone will turn out for, to the horse races, and then with the culmination on Saturday, with the adults parade and with the fireworks. Let everyone understand that we're a family, that violence is not something that's a part of working our carnival, and that when we begin together, we will end together, and the spirit of love of how we begin. Thank you, and please have a nice carnival. The match or tramp was over. She would have a little party for us in her house, which was uh, at the time we were all living where the election offices are now. And there was a, 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 a fee of 15 cents to pay for the band and a drink. So I am not moved to travel to the carnival. 
Jerry Nicholson remembering, oh, there's Wayne James shaking his booty, and a lot of others as the Carnival Village opening slipped into the history books for 2010, but the fun still continues. As uh, Ras Reg always says, it's, uh, you got it, it's Carnival Baby in St. Thomas at Carnival Village. Lee Carl for News Channel 8. Carnival on St. Thomas. When we come back from this break, we'll take a look at your Caribbean reports. Stay with us on Channel 8.